Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a little different. I took some time to dive deeper and study Didi's current situation. The fairy lawsuits being filed against him from both men and women, accusing him of sexual assault and all that. All the things that have been said about him are proving to be so true as everything about his shady past continues to unveil in front of us every day. Now, a lot of people have said a lot of things about Didi, the likes of 50 Cent, and Young Joke and Ubri Ode have always warned us about Didi. For example, when 50 Cent released a diss track in 2006 about Didi called The Bomb, which had scathing bars about Didi knowing who killed Biggie Smalls. Anyways, a lot has been said, but do you know who else said a lot of things about Didi and we never paid attention? That is Kanye West. Kanye and Didi have had their issues and friendship before those issues. It's the things that Kanye said that we never paid attention to that are coming back to prove to be right that had me shocked. In today's video, we are going to unpack all the shocking things that Kanye West has been talking about Didi and Mick Mill that will make sense now. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. But before we go deeper, let's first look at Didi's current situations and how much trouble he's in. So essentially, P. Diddy, um, he is getting sued right now because of rape claims and Mick Mill is mentioned in the lawsuit where he apparently has sex with other men uh, including p diddy now when this news came out there's a bunch of memes going on obviously but mcmeal went on a whole tangent right now going on and he never denies this claim which is strange he just goes on about like how he's on top and how these people are trying to attack him but never says he's not gay which well Currently, Didi is in some hot water, in the midst of trying to fight for his career not to crumble because of all the things he's being accused of. Last year, after his former partner Cassie filed for a lawsuit accusing him of rape and other sexual related offenses, four more people came forward with their accusations against him of the same kind. Most recently, a former producer alleged that Didi used his influence and power in the music industry to have fellow men engage in homosexuality acts with him to give them Grammy Awards. Some of the people he mentioned did win awards and got Grammy nominations like Burna Boy, who in 2020 worked with Didi on his album Twice As Tall, which won him a Grammy Award, and Mick Mill, whose rap album championships got him a Grammy nomination. Many people have since reacted to his shocking accusations like 50 Cent and Kurt Williams. They offered him 50 million and he turned it down. Who gonna turn down 50 million? Now I've had to turn down 50 million million dollars four times four times just to protect my integrity and that ver I was telling you about <laughs> right because uh, P Diddy be wanting to party and you gotta tell him no Come you on. got to tell him no I, I, now when it comes to Kanye West and P Diddy these two have worked together in the past, like when Kanye worked on Didi's album Swish, but their relationship drastically changed in 2022 when Kanye West and Candace Owens were seen wearing controversial White Lives Matter shirts. This prompted Didi to reach out to Kanye West, wanting to talk to him about him wearing those White Lives Matter shirts, but Kanye wasn't feeling the conversation. So he put all of it out on social media. The thing I do have to address is this White Lives Matter t-shirt. Um, I've always been there and I will always support my brother Kanye as a free thinker. But the White Lives Matter t-shirt, I don't rock with it. The conversation itself was long, but it was basically Kanye was telling him that he will not back down, threatening to make an example out of him to the rest of the people to show that he can never be threatened or influenced. He told him, this ain't a game. I'ma use you as an example to show the Jewish people that told you to call me that no one can threaten me or influence me. I told you this is war. Now go and get you some business. He didn't stop there. Kanye West continued, even calling Didi a fed and saying, I didn't like our convo. I'm selling those teas. Nobody gets in between me and my money. This is my grandfather texting you now. Never call me with no bullshit like that again unless you're ready to greenlight me. Because anybody who got on that tea is me. Out of respect for everything you've meant to me, I'll be quiet as Virgil. I love with threads. 
come do something illegal to me now, please. Later on, Kanye West was seen in a video exposing the truth behind Didi and Hollywood about how many people go missing and how it is the method that Hollywood uses to control and traumatize others. How the industry is full of predators who want to destroy and put down those who do not conform. You're out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat mails, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names. None of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing, they have legal, I never killed nobody, right? He did not stop there as he continued saying that, that no one they can send to him, be it Diddy, Mick Mill, or any others, he will never listen to you because those people are controlled by Hollywood because they have legal troubles. But because for him, he doesn't have any legal troubles trying him to be controlled by Hollywood, he can and will always say what he wants and no one will arrest him. Kanye West threw a didn't back down because he still had a lot of choice words for Diddy and Meek Mill, where he was seen in an interview on Drink Champs talking about how Diddy and Meek Mill are feds because Meek Mill did a deal to get out of prison. But as far as Meek Mills, Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas, all you fake hard, can't shoot nobody anyway, and the reason why you got talks because you did it fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So y'all need to shut up about me. Now let me say it calm. Fans had a lot to say about what Kanye West had to say. One said, this actually makes sense. So much sense now since Cassie sued P. Diddy. The second one said, Kanye West was criticized when this video came out. All of the sudden, everything he shared here is the truth or useful information. Another one said, time just keeps vindicating Kanye. The fourth one said, I'm starting to think Kanye might not be crazy after all. They just want us to think he is because he's going against the grain. While the last one said, Kanye West, Jaguar and Orlando Brown all painted as crazy all told the truth. I always believed them. They are owed an apology. Well, it seems like Kanye West always knew the truth and because we were made to believe that he was crazy, we actually never paid attention. And now everything he said is now making sense as Diddy's daddy laundry all gets out by the day. And as I said before, Kanye West wasn't alone. Former bad boy rapper Mark Curry wrote a Sean Diddy exposed Dancing with the Devil where he exposed all the dirty things that he does when no one is watching. In the clips posted on his YouTube channel, he talks about all the cruel things Diddy has done, including breaking his ex-girlfriend Porter's nose, hitting her producer with a chair, spiking women's drinks. Mark Curry also joined Diddy's former bodyguards Jean Deal and Roger Bones as some of the first people to talk about their experience with Diddy after the lawsuits were filed against him. While Diddy managed to escape his first set of lawsuits by paying them off, his fans and people in general are still waiting to see how his recent legal troubles turn out, as several people continue to call for his cancellation because they are against what he did in his past. I also want to hear your views on this Diddy situation and whether or not you think he will get past the current lawsuits facing him. Stay blessed and thank you for watching.